All right, CL, you're up. Garrison, what, what were some of the points of emphasis defensively that uh, that Coach Williams was trying to get you guys to kind of soak in? And and what do you feel like is keeping you guys from, from reaching that potential he wants uh, you to? What's stopping us from reaching that potential is pretty much our focus and just uh, lack of really wanting to guard somebody. I think that's uh, something. I think it's something we can get to. But I think right now that um, we're struggling to do that. I think we're struggling, struggling on guard and group penetration. Um, of course, giving up open threes. I don't know how many threes. Uh, Mike DeVoe had, uh, I feel like he had a good little, good amount. But uh, I just think I, I want to. I want to on defenses. Uh, it has been more. Greg Barnes. There's some good attack shot. 61% in the second half. Was that a matter of want to? And how does that play out in terms of where the breakdowns are? It's just a matter of want to and focus. Uh, Got to gotta lock in more. Got to know what's going on at all times. Got to know who you're guarding. Got to be got to be able, can't fall asleep on defense. Just got to be more prepared. Gotta, uh, it's, just, it's just, it's not really, it's a matter of between of, of us, of us being better, the players. Josh Graham. Garrison, coach said on Monday that rather than giving you guys clips from the NC State game, he made you guys watch the entire game because he was frustrated with the defensive gradings. How would you describe what that rewatch was like? Uh, it's tough. Um, seeing the lack of effort that uh, I had on defense, lack of attention to detail. Um, didn't really, I felt like I failed my team. Um, let them down on defense. Of course, I didn't shoot the ball well, but I, mean, I really let them down on defense because, because that's that's where I normally lead, and that's that's why I should lead every game. And what would you say about the post game locker room today? The strout, um, without words, um, couldn't, couldn't really couldn't really put into words what what had really happened, and uh, very disappointed in ourselves. Andrew Jones. Garrison, uh, we just asked Roy about the starting lineup tonight, and he said, you know, guys, you're going to play their minutes. It doesn't really matter. But he did make a change with three guys, and you were one of them. What was – where did you interpret the message he was trying to get across to you guys? Right, you you going to play better or are you going to sit down? That's pretty much it. I, I mean, I can respect his decision putting De'Ron in the start line. I mean, it's a privilege. I mean, it's something you got to earn every day. De'Ron came in practice. He earned it. Earned his effort in the NC State game. And that's – a just something I had to pick up on myself. I had to go self-reflect. Like, am I giving enough to this team? Am I doing enough? And he thought I wasn't, and I didn't think I was either. So that's how I, I ended up on the bench. But it's a, it's a privilege every day. He said he said the decision was hard for him to not start you. How hard was it for you? I mean, um, it, it's tough. I mean, I'm a senior and sitting out for a freshman. I mean, it's tough. But I mean, he's playing better than me right now. So it's going to it's either I'm going to get better, keep playing better, or or come sit down. I mean, it's not not to be funny or nothing, but it's not the first. It's not the first time it's happened to me. My freshman year happened to me with Cam, and it was either you gonna get better or you gonna sit on the bench. So it's it's my decision on what to do, and I know how to change. I know what to do. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, uh, Brian Keys. We'll do the last one, and then we'll get Leaky in here. Pearson, we've talked a lot about defense today, but on offense, the team, you know, when the first shot wasn't really there it needs to change is it just guys getting adjusted to the system or i mean it's just i don't, I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how to answer that question because i mean i i don't think it's a whole system thing the whole thing people say about coaching system i mean most of the time we just freelance anyway i mean it's not really much he does and what he says i mean it's just like he wants a great shot i whole system thing i don't I mean, I, I kind of understand that, but I mean, I, I don't because I mean, if you make shots, that's all that matters. All right, thanks, Garrison. We'll get Leaky in. CL? Leaky, uh, I'll ask you the same thing I asked Garrison. Um, what do you feel like is, is keeping you guys from, uh, from becoming a better team defensively right now? I feel like, um... But I feel like we're all just being selfish right now. I feel like we're all not bought in completely, and it's it's showing out there. And I feel like um, that's just our main problem. Once we get over the hump and we all buy in and play together, we'll get back to North Carolina basketball. 
Uh, Greg. Leaky, you, you made a layup uh, with about seven minutes to play that pushed the lead to 61-53. What happened from your perspective you know, the rest of the way? I think Georgia Tech outscored you guys 19-6 to over the last seven minutes. I'm sorry, could you uh, repeat the question? Yeah, I'm just curious. It was 61-53 with seven minutes, and Georgia Tech outscored you guys 19-6 to the rest of the way. Just kind of wanted your perspective on, on how things played out down the stretch. Um, I think um, I'm pretty sure that's when they hit three threes. You know, we weren't locked in defensively. That's just on um, the players. You know, there's no coaching anything. They give us a scout report. We got to review it. We need to know it. And I don't think we uh, did a good enough job um, reviewing the scout report. You know, you got to know your personnel. The guy, I mean, forget the scout report. The guy hit. One, two, threes, you need to get up on him. You need to get a hand in his face. So this is common sense, but this lack of concentration. And um, I feel like this is lack of concentration going down the stretch. Adam Smith. Leaky, building off that at the end of the game, and you're talking about lack of concentration. I, I think it was, I think you guys had one made basket in like the last, last five and a half minutes. Was Georgia Tech's matchup zone, did that get even? trickier did they did they do something different with it to, to maybe get you guys more out of sorts down the stretch do you think not at all you know um i think we did a pretty good job um getting the ball inside the first half and making them work you know changing the size of the ball um you know attacking the gaps you know the first half play we did pretty good and the second half i feel like i don't know it was a kind of selfishness going around and it, it's just it went from there, and we the lead fell in their favor, and that's just what it was. Ross Martin, hey Leaky, uh, how did Coach Williams inform y'all that, that he was switching up the starting lineup? Well, he just straight up told us. When know, did that happen? Um, what did he tell us? Shoot around, shoot around, uh, shoot around before. Uh, but we kind of knew it going in uh, the practice plan the last couple of days after the NC State game. Um, you know, it was a completely different lineup. We were like second, third string, and you know, it's the message. The message got across for sure. Yeah, I mean, what do you what do you think about that? How do you respond to that as as a, a veteran with you and and Garrison uh, obviously getting supplanted by by, by freshmen? Right. Um. Hmm. I feel like it was a. Uh, Like, I'm not playing the way I need to be playing right now. So it was like a reality check, you know. In life, you're not doing your job. The boss going to get somebody else to come do it for you. You know what I mean? So it was one of those things I need to step up. And I made it my personal decision to, from here on out, say everything I got every play. Great. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Josh, Graham, last one. And then the guy's got a. Uh, fly home here. Leaky, you've used the words, you've used the word selfish a few times to describe mm -hmm. what's happening in terms of focus and on defense. What exactly do you mean by that? I just mean, um, you know, obviously we know our big guys are pretty, are pretty good. You know, they're shooting a, a high percentage. So why take quick outside jumpers when we need to get them the ball? You know, they're the ones that's putting the ball in the basket, you know, most of the time. So. I feel like they need to at least touch the ball at least one time down the court. If not anything other than that, I feel like to me is just like like going going to be selfish. So this is going to be a bad shot. It's not going to be a good shot after that. Thank you. Thanks, Blake. Thank Thanks, Thanks everybody. Time. Thank you, everybody. Happy New Year. Thanks.